Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today we're releasing how to do all the hidden mutators that I have so far in this series, and other things besides from that. So, first of all, I'm going to go through how exactly you do this. So, first of all, what you need to do is you need to go into your, like, folders, how, whatever you want to call this, uh, and then you need to find your Rocket League folder through Steam. So, mine is in my D drive. And then it's in Steam, then you go to Steam Apps, Common, then you go down and Rocket League should be right here. Then what you want to go is Binaries and Win32. So what you need to know for this is the next step. So what you go is you go into however you get it, your little search, and you get up your command prompt. So from this your command command prompt will automatically start you in the C drive. Now, if your uh, Rocket League folder is not in the C drive, what you have to do is you have to type in D colon, and it changes it to your D drive. Now, next, what you want to type in is basically what's up here. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rocket League, Binaries, Win32. How you would type this is like this. Uh, I will put this in the Reddit post with everything all these codes and everything so what you're going to do is you're going to copy this and you can't actually left oh you can okay so i wasn't able to do that before so that's basically what you want to type in so next in the post in the reddit post i will put all what we have so far so so far what we have is custom training custom free play custom starting menu uh spawning bot bots uh tutorial map uh this weird like green map that you really can't do much on and the custom mutator for extra balls so let's just run into the extra balls one really quickly so let's grab this from the codes and paste it in here so this is the code so basically what you want to do is you would copy and paste it into here see right now it, it's set to six over here if you look right here now if you want to change that it so far works with two four and six so let's change it. I don't really like uh, six, so let's change it to two. So now if you hit the enter button, it'll launch Rocket League and it will basically force you into a game with two balls. So it's just, you're, you're in your game and you can change the map, what I'll go over in just a second. So the default for this will be Wasteland, the map that I'll have up, but you can change it to plenty of other things. So, as of right now, all you could be is by yourself with the two balls. And basically, that's how you do that. Now, how you exit this is if you press leave match, you won't leave. It'll just reset you into infinity. You'll never be able to leave. What you have to do is either open your task manager, or if you press alt, then tab, and it'll bring you to this. And you have to hit the X out button on it. And there you go, it's closed. So, now, how to change the map. So, now, it has to be like really like registered map and you have to have the coding name so you can grab it from other codes and see what the map names are I don't have all of them yet but we have a couple so another one that we have besides wasteland is I believe we have uh, we have the winter stadium and we have the uh, labs underpass so let's actually upload two balls on lab underpass really quickly go now start that up and <clears throat> there we go see labs underpass with two balls so that's basically how you do that and how you change the map we will be releasing more maps as we find them and we will let you guys know on the amount of balls so that's been the multiple balls and then next I will go through let's go through um, I mean, you could spawn into the tutorial map, which isn't a lot of fun, but it's there. Uh, it's good. You could play these with split screen. So maybe the tutorial maps. It's kind of fun with split screen. It's like a kind of like a joust. Uh, you could do custom training here. Uh, let's do it on custom aerial training on underpass, which I personally like a lot. So let's load this in. So as we load in here, see, you got the cannon and you're on the pass. So basically, if I would hit that right, you have yourself 
aerial training on this map you could do aerial training on wasteland the winter stadium and all the maps that we will be releasing you just have to change up the code so that's for that uh what else we have right now is wow okay I'm not even gonna do this it's really bad oh yeah forgot my own little thing here you have to exit out that way so that's for those two and then we have your own dedicated server which cannot be joined the custom free play and we have the custom start menu which i will show you guys that as well uh it really isn't much it's just i will let you guys look for yourself it kind of just gives you sort of a cinematic view to it um we are coming out with a whole like sort of debug system to this that displays a lot of other things where you can change the banners see here's the uh custom display with the winter map so it kind of just gives you a cool little main menu so this application will let you see your mmr change your banners and change up your whole like front display and your main menu and everything so i will actually show you guys that in just a second but i cannot fully release it yet because it's not fully done so when we finish it up and have it so you will be actually able to enter all these codes and all the hidden mutators from the app as well so let me just hop right into that and i will show you guys that okay so we're in here with the custom uh application running so this is a little sneak preview of what we have so far so this shows your mmr so like my unranked is 44 my 1v1 is 35 uh 2v2 is 46 3v3 solo 40 and 3v3s is 46 as well so uh basically you can add your own video here and if you see at the bottom it says whatever like subscribe epic eclipse gaming and if i jump into training really quickly uh you guys will be able to see oh the custom banners are not up right now but across the map here you will be able to put up custom banners if you do implement them i must have not put them in but this works with regular rocket league uh it's just regular playing it's not really doing anything to the Thing to the game but it will automatically refresh refresh all your mmr stats up in the corner and it shows you your total xp and it's just kind of something cool and a little bit of an edit to rocket league that i find a lot of fun and it gives you a lot of information so that's really it for what's really coming up and what we found so far but some other available mutators yet that we haven't t tested is three rounds five rounds seven rounds uh no boost unlimited booster uh let's see what else explode on touch uh 10 minutes 20 minutes teleporter launch pad explode winning um this is a whole bunch of other things here like slow-mo distance ball it's hardcore two second respawn one second respawn two times jump uh two times dodge impulse and a whole bunch of other things really i will list that all in the reddit post as well and uh, another thing that's kind of interesting is Treasure Hunt and Mode 500 and Pitch Basketball. So there's a whole bunch of other things. and But this is basically how you do the custom mutators and all that stuff. And as we find more, we will release more. But as of right now, this is what we have. And the app will be coming out shortly. So this has been Epic Eclipse. And I hope this is, guys has helped you. And I hope you guys have fun using these mutators. So I will see you guys in the next one.